numbers. So let's review our formula for overlapping events. The probability of event A plus the probability of event B minus the probability of where they overlap, so A and B, is going to be the probability of A or B. Let's apply this to some uh, algebra. So if I know the probability of A is one-third and the probability of B is one-third, and I know that the probability of A and B is one-half, find the probability of A or B. So it's going to be my individual probabilities added together minus my overlapping, which is the and, and that gives me my or. So I get 2 six plus 2 six, which is 4 six minus 3 six equals 1 six. Next problem, we just have decimals, but same process. So we're going to add together the individual events and subtract out the overlapping event to solve for the or. This is actually going to be zero. So the probability of getting event A or event B is zero in this example. Here, here we're working with percentages, so try this one. The individual events added together minus the overlapping equals the or. So we end up with 110%, which of course is impossible, minus 20%. So we use the 90% probability of getting event A or event B. Assume the events A and B are mutually exclusive. What is the value of the probability of A and B? So what do you think this value is if A and B are mutually exclusive? So there's no overlapping. Well, what does A and B represent? It represents where, where event A and event B overlap, right? So if there's no overlapping, what's the probability of A and B? It's zero. The probability of choosing a button out of a bag being orange is 0.3. The probability of the button is striped is 7 tenths. The probability the button is orange or striped is 5 tenths. Find the probability that the button is both orange and striped. So how do you think you would approach this problem? What are you solving for? You're solving for the end. So we know all the other information. So we're going to let our and be our variable and substitute everything in. So the probability of being orange is 0.3. Let that be event A. And then our other event is 7 tenths for striped. And the or is 0.5. So what we don't know is the and, and that's what we're solving for. So how do you think you would approach this? like an equation, right? Start by simplifying the left-hand side and then solve. So start isolating your variable. Once you've isolated your variable, notice that we have a negative on both sides, depending on how you approach your steps. So we do need to multiply both sides by a negative, and we get x equals 0.5. And you can plug this in to see if it works. So if I substitute it in, does 0.5 makes sense right here. So it does because 0.3 plus 0.7 equals 1 minus 0.5 equals 0.5. Here we have a table that shows all the sums when two six-sided dice are rolled. Let's use this to answer some questions about overlapping and mutually exclusive events. So the first question asks, what is the probability of getting a sum of 8 or 9? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have 9. Let's notice this is an or. 9 out of how many total here? 6 times 6? 36. I'm going to leave, uh, I'm not going to simplify my fractions because if we're adding and subtracting fractions, we need to have common denominators. So I'm going to leave it with that answer. What is the probability of getting an odd sum or an even sum? Okay, so now first of all, think about, let's go back to number one. 
a sum of eight or nine, was that overlapping or mutually exclusive? Those are mutually exclusive, right? So that's why we could just add up all of those sums right there. All right, so then the odd sum or an even sum, what's that going to equal? Well, odd or even is going to be all of them, right? So that's going to be 36 over 36. And are those mutually exclusive or overlapping? Mutually exclusive because you can't get odd and even. What is the probability of getting a sum divisible by 4? So let's go through and look at these. A sum divisible by 4. Well, we have 4 itself. We have 8. And we have 12. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9, 36. What is the probability of getting a sum divisible by 2? Well, that's the same thing as an even, right? So we're going to say half of them, or 18 over 36. What is the probability of getting a sum divisible by 4 and 2? So we want to see where those overlap. So 4 and 2. So if it's divisible by both 4 and 2, it's actually going to be the ones divisible by 4, right? Which was 936. Because anything divisible by 4 is also divisible by 2. So what's the probability of getting a sum divisible by 4 or 2? So we want the probability of getting a sum divisible by 4, which is 936, plus 2, which is half of them, or 1836. Minus the and, which is number 5, 936. So basically, you probably already figured this out, these two will cancel each other. And the answer is 1836, or the evens, which is 